Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna be going over all my settings on PC, my sensitivity, showing you guys how to change your sensitivity multiplier and how these settings will give you the best FPS while maintaining good image quality and being able to see everything that you need to see while playing the game. So let's just jump into it. Okay, so starting out with some general settings, uh, I like to have drone after prep on manual. Now this one, uh, what it does is basically exactly what it says it does right in the description. It uh, You can remain in the drone tool after prep phase end. It won't automatically pull you out. So you can drone for as long as you need. So, you, you know, if you're getting a heated battle with a defender chasing your drone down, you can stay on your drone afterwards. So I like to keep this one on manual. There's not really any other important settings in this first page that matter. So this is kind of just all preference, ping, stuff like that that you want to keep on. Under HUD settings, I have everything set to the default except for teammate names, which I've turned off, as well as the general tips, which are right here at the bottom. So the tips is things that the little warning that pops up on the side. If you want that off, it's under gameplay warnings, which I turned off. And then the two teammate usernames here, I turned off as well, just because I find it distracting to have the names popped up and I don't really use them that often. A lot of people do turn the teammate outlines off. So that way they can't see their teammate outlines. I think this one's really important, especially if you're trying to coordinate your team or get your team to work together. You know, it could result in a lot of team kills by turning this off. So I just say, leave the teammate outlines on. It's pretty rarely that your teammate actually lines up with an enemy and looks like the enemy. So just leave teammate outlines on. Other than that, everything is default. Okay, for my audio settings, I have my volume at 100. This is just gonna depend on how loud your game actually is. Um, if you have a soundboard and things like that, you might be able to change it through there. Uh, but I just leave it at 100 because I'm not great at hearing stuff, so I, I turn it all the way up. Uh, a lot of people use night mode for Siege. Uh, I prefer hi-fi, but that's definitely just preference. Uh, night mode's also great. A lot of people I know really like night mode over it, so hi-fi or night mode TV, just stay away from that. Uh, your voice chat record level and the thresholds just going to depend on your mic and how loud everybody else is for you, so you can just adjust that how you need, along with the voice chat volume as well. I turn my music off, I just find it annoying, so I don't play with that on. Okay, so now let's actually get into the juicy stuff. This is where you're gonna affect your, your frames, the actual graphic settings, the display settings, things that actually change the way your games look. So starting off with display, the resolution. So this is a big one. Um, I have my resolution uh, set to what my monitor is, which is 225, 60 by 1440. Um, if your graphics card isn't super strong, you can always turn this down to like a 1080p option. You know, it's gonna not do as much damage to your um, graphics card, so it won't run as high, but I just run on 1440 because I have most of my settings a lot lower, so it runs fine for me. Refresh rate, this is gonna also depend on your monitor. If you do have that uh, 144 hertz monitor, definitely turn it up to 144 hertz. Otherwise, it's gonna be set to 60 by default, and you're not actually gonna be like using the frame rate of your monitor. So make sure you switch your refresh rate if you do have a higher monitor than 60 hertz. My aspect ratio is 3.2. I just prefer 3.2. I think it's great. I've been using it for a long time. I've tried out a lot of 16.10, uh, 16.9, but I found that 3.2 is my most consistent and it's it's nice with the hollow sides. Like the one time sides have that 3.2, you can see a little better. Uh, so 3.2 is my go-to, um, but this one's also preference. I have VSync off, FPS limit off. Um, my field of view is 83, uh, and then my brightness is 56. Um, this one also is gonna depend on your monitor brightness because my monitor is a little brighter. I think I've set the settings default a little brighter, so you might wanna turn this down. But in general, I would just turn this up a bit more than you think you might need because you do wanna be able to see everything even in the dark spots of the map. Unless you want an immersive experience, then maybe turn it down. But other than that, I'd just say, turn your brightness up a little more than you think you might need. That way you do are making sure, do are making sure, it totally makes sense. That way you're making sure that uh, you're seeing everything you need to. Okay, let's hop over to the graphic settings. Um, so this is where we kind of have to get in depth with stuff. So texture quality is really gonna tank your um, GPU. So just turn that to low. Like right away, if you see, if I go very high, my GPU goes to like half the power right there and I have a 2070 super. Um, so, oh shit, that's wrong. Uh, so just keep that on low. You don't need it up. It's, your game's not gonna look as good, but it's gonna run way better by just leaving this one on low. For the texture filtering, I have this one at 16X. Um, this just reduces the blurring when like textures are displayed at weird angles. So you don't get that weird blurry effect by having this one on all the way. So that's the only one I'd recommend having on. 
for that. Most of your other stuff's gonna be low, except for shadows. Shadows can really uh, impact rounds. So sometimes you see a shadow, you know a guy's there without actually seeing them. So shadows, you definitely wanna turn on to at least medium, but I prefer high, very high. You're not really gonna notice a change. Um, but yeah, keep your shadows on for the rest of the stuff. Just turn it off, except for that texture filtering. Once you get to the bottom of your anti-aliasing, uh, I just leave that on TIA. And then I turn my adaptive render scaling target FPS to 102. I actually am not sure what this even does, but I have it at 102. Your TAA sharpness, this is gonna make the sharpness of your game higher or lower. Uh, I think 60 looks really nice, but you can turn this up or down depending on uh, what you prefer, but it removes a lot of that blur that makes the game look really bad when you do have your settings on low and it just sharpens up the game, makes it look nice. So I leave that at 60, uh, but you can kind of play with that as, as you as you'd like. Okay, moving into my control. So this is where you're getting into some sensitivity thing. So I play 8.8 with my mouse ADS sensitivity being 90 for my 1X, 105 for my 1.5, 136, 160, etc. You guys can look at this all you want. Uh, now I do have a mouse multiplier unit, which I will pull up and show you how to change right now. Okay, so when you're on your desktop, you'll have to close out of Siege to actually uh, change these files. Go to your documents, Go to my games, Rainbow Six Siege, and then you'll have your different files for the different accounts that you have. So if you go to tabstats.com slash siege and you look up your account, you can actually see which uh, account code is yours at the top in your URL here. So mine is CFA1, F93, C, et cetera, et cetera. So that's gonna be this folder right here. So now I know that this folder is my main account. I'll double click on that and then go to my game settings. And this is where you'll change your game settings. So if you scroll down, um, you have your ADS mouse multiplier unit. And what this means is default, it's set to 0 0.02. So mine's at 0 0.005301. So almost a quarter of what the regular ADS, uh, ADS mouse multiplier unit is. So that just means my sense uh, in game is gonna be about four times higher because my multiplier is a quarter. So by turning this down, I have to turn my sense up in game to match what it would normally be. So this just lets you get more specific sense by turning this down. If, you, if you've if you noticed that you know, you're know you struggling with a single tick of your sense, you can switch this just to change it. Uh, but that's how you change that. You would just exit, save it, open up your game again, and then your multiplier will be changed. And then I have, of course, all my controls, aim, lean, sprint, crouch, prone, walk, um, I'm not going to really talk about these, but I'll just show you guys them quick. So if you want to copy them, you can, um, but controls are pretty, they're pretty much whatever you feel like. No controls are better than the other, but I'll just scroll through these quick so you guys can see what I actually use. The one thing I will point out is I do use um, my keyboard to swap weapons. I have my mouse scroll off for weapon swap, so I don't accidentally switch guns. Um, so I use X to swap weapons, either that or I can use the one, two, one and two. Yeah, one and two to switch my weapons as well as pick my specific weapons. But for the most part, I just hit X to switch guns. And you know, you don't really do that very often. There's all my camera controls, et cetera, et cetera. I, I unfortunately do not play on controller. So I'm sorry if you're watch, you've watched this much and play on, on controller or console, my bad. Lastly, we have my accessibility. I have my optic opacity at 90. I use the green uh, optic. I just, I just prefer it. I just like it. And then of course, got to stick on the blue team going up against the red team. And yeah, that's pretty much it for my settings. So that's it for my R6 settings, January of 2022. Uh, if you guys have any extra questions about the specific settings, what they do, or if I didn't go over something that I missed, just leave a comment below. I'll try to get to you um, as soon as I can. And if you have any other suggestions for videos or what you want to see, leave them in the comments as well. And if your friend sucks, you know, he can't figure out the sense, he can't figure out a setting, send him this video. Let him know. Let him know he's garbage and that I can help him. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Have a fantastic day.